All right, this video is going to be about some real nerdy stuff, so it's going to be really nitpicky and have a lot of problems. All right? Cool. So I use this program called AutoHotKey, which is a godlike programming language that allows you to reassign keys on your keyboard with other keys, but it does so much more than that. You can mess with the screen, open files, write files, move the mouse. It just does tons of crazy shit. I use it all the time to do stuff like tab through my tabs in Google Chrome, have my mouse jump to the middle of a monitor, or open a link to a Google spreadsheet. Now, I recently got a Corsair K95 RGB keyboard for my birthday, and if you notice, it has 18 macro keys on the left side of the keyboard, which is very, very nice, because I was previously using the numpad and I felt super duper constrained. Now, Corsair has its own macro software that comes with the keyboard, but AutoHotKey is way, way more powerful than anything that that could do. I primarily use Corsair's IQ software as a way to have my macro keys be seen by AutoHotKey. I use F13 through F24, which isn't supported on modern keyboards anyways, and I use those as targets for AutoHotKey to read so it can then trigger the functions. But that's just G1 through G12, so what do I do with the other six macro keys on my keyboard? Well, unfortunately, there's not any other hidden keys that are supported by AutoHotKey, so I just have to remap a bunch of the numpad to the remaining six keys, which is annoying because I occasionally use the numpad for its intended purpose. However, that doesn't mean that there aren't still hidden keys on the keyboard that I could use an auto hotkey. You see, there are international keys that are supported on various keyboards, mainly used for different symbols for currencies and whatnot in other countries. And I learned about the existence of these through Taryn, the video editor for Linus Tech Tips, and his video in the Hasu USB controller, where he replaces the various keys that have problems working when doing the uh, multi-keyboard setup. So he replaces them with the obscure international keys. The problem is that, that auto hotkey does not support these international keys. What? <laughs> Why? That would be so much more helpful for mapping things and whatnot. It's so dumb. Even Corsair's own software supports international keys. I can see all of them right there, and I can use all of them. Look at, that. Look at how many of them there are. Like, there's, there's w way more than enough for the six keys I need, and I could buy one of those Scimitar Pro Corsair mice and map buttons on there, and I'd still have plenty more room. So I just have one humble request for the developers of AutoHotKey. Please, please, please add support for these keys in the future. I know my use case is probably extremely niche anyway, so this probably won't get any traction, but it'd be nice to have anyways, so that way I don't have to resort to taking the numpad and duplicating the functions onto the macro keys. So thanks for watching and uh, you know giving me your time for to hear me complain about stupid auto hotkey problems.